Good afternoon. Welcome to today's Incentive Concepts Live broadcast. We're back for another week. It's Andy Hudson. I'm your host, Director of Marketing for Incentive Concepts. Welcome to everybody yet again. We thank you for joining us to learn a little bit about our solutions, our corporate gifts, our incentives, and our event gifting options, and much, much more. And most importantly, it's a way for us to just stay uh, connected with you, our, our valued partners and friends and customers, and to have a little bit of fun. Uh, so before we get started, just for uh, you that are joining us, maybe it's your first time for the best viewing experience, please go to incentiveconcepts.com backslash live. And there should be a chat bar right under the YouTube video where you can chat directly with us. Please let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to hear from you and interact with other viewers as well. Um, if you don't see the chat bar based on the browser you're using, just click on YouTube and head on over to YouTube. You can interact there via the chat. We're also streaming live on our Facebook page and Twitter Periscope. So if you're watching there, welcome to you as well. And with that, let's get started. Um, even though the Blackhawks beat the Blues last night, I'm still happy to welcome my friend Kevin Hagan, who's back hey. once again. And also from our Mid-America region, we have Dean Theofanis and Godlevsky and Brett Sanborn. Hey, guys, how are we doing? Great. Great. How's everybody? Good, Andy. Doing great. All right. Great. Let, let's see if Brett can join us with his video by turning the video on there, my friend. Um, Kevin, there he is. Kevin, why don't we start with Kevin, why don't we start with you, sir? What do we got planned today? Well, we can see Brett's already camping, so we're going to talk about some of that. Uh, but we're just going to go over a few things. Obviously, what works in this territory. This is for marketing motivators. This territory is very unique, uh, to say the least. And I think uh, some of the items that they're covering are going to be some of the things that they're focused on with their casino business and some of their bulk buys that they're looking at. So uh, be some good products. And we've got a new introduction on something coming up too, as we'll get into that. All right, great. Well, Dean and Ann and Brett, thanks so much for being here. Um, it's been pretty hot here in St. Louis. Uh, uh, Dean, I might start with you if that's okay. What's it like in, in Indiana where you're at? Well, today it's 80 degrees. Uh, it is raining. We needed some rain. So it's kind of gloomy outside. So it's a good day to be in our basement anyway. So uh it's uh, we haven't had rain in a while, but it's it's been warm here. Okay, and how and how are you handling the heat? Uh, I actually I love the warm weather, so if it's eighty is eighty is nice to me. Doing right. great, thank you. thank you. One wonderful and Brad, it looks like you're outside a little cooler where where you're at. Can you tell us where you're watching from? I am up in northern Michigan, um, and it's a, it's a nice, cool 73 degrees. And let me tell you, after all the 90s, it feels wonderful. Well, that's great. And no matter where you're watching uh, us from, we hope you're having a great summer so far and staying as cool as possible. And that's kind of what we're going to focus on a little bit today. But before we get much farther, um, let's do our first viewer question, which we love to do. Um, and since we are dealing with the summer heat and maybe some of us with the rain, like you said, um, but let's focus on kind of staying, staying cool. So viewers, tell us a way that you're staying cool this summer. All right. How are you dealing with the summer heat? What are some strategies for you staying, staying cool? So please put that in the chat. Kevin, how are you staying cool this summer? Well, I don't go outside anymore. So I just stay inside. <laughs> stay cool. Well, air conditioning is a, is, is, a, is a strong strategy for staying cool. So we won't, <laughs> we won't blame you for that. So, okay. Um, Dean, I'm going to start with you with just some okay. general questions, if you don't mind. Um, and it looks like you got a great basement set up there. Beautiful. Thank you. Kevin and I will, Kevin and I will be visiting as soon as possible. Um, but you, have, you've been you've been involved um, in helping recognize employees and businesses and kind of build helping businesses build their corporate identity and increase productivity since the 1980s, um, even though it looks like you're only born in the 1980s, Dean. But based you. on your experience, what what do you think are the three most important aspects of a company's employee recognition program? Well, that's a good question. I, uh, I would start by saying that uh, before you start any type of program, well-defined objectives and planning is, is key. So I would start with that as number one. Second of all, I'd probably go with um, knowing your audience and uh, selecting from brand name merchandise products that tie into that audience would make that program probably most beneficial. 
And then lastly, uh, number three, I would probably go with uh, communication and uh, finish, follow up. If you communicate throughout the program, I think it will add to uh, the success of the program and make it much more worthwhile. I see a lot of companies that run these programs that kick them off and do nothing until the very end. And they don't seem to work as well that way. So uh, those would probably be my three. Yeah, great. Yeah, communication is very important and no matter what walk of life we're in. And Anne, I'm going to turn to you for a second. You've been part of the marketing motivators team for about 12 years. Um, during that time, um, and you're, you're, you're very into developing relationships with your clients, um, what do you feel is the most important part of, uh, of interacting with your clients? Well, Andy, um, that's a great, very important question. I feel the most important part of maintaining strong relationships is effective communication and to provide excellent customer service. Um, for example, I work with many casino events and I help my customer from the very beginning merchandising the program and then offering on-site customer service to answer any product questions anyone at the event would have. So I feel being present and attentive with your customer every step of the way is the most important part of maintaining strong customer relations. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate all you guys do um, there in Indianapolis. And I'm going to, I'm going to head over to Brett now. So Brett, um, you're at a campground you mentioned in Northern Michigan, where, whereabouts specifically? Well, if you, if you want to Michigan, we like to do this in Michigan, Andy. So right. there's okay. Michigan Detroit's down here. I'm, I'm about up here. So that's Northern it's Petoskey state park. It's on the shores of Lake Michigan. And uh, it's a beautiful place up here. Okay. Well, we appreciate you joining us during your camping trip. It looks like a great spot um, and a beautiful spot, Northern Michigan. Um, but I really want to talk to you about how a lot of people are taking kind of shorter day trips now, much like yourself, maybe you're a weekend getaway. Um, you know what? Uh, in fact, I just went on a great day trip uh, this past weekend with my two kids to a local state park here in, in, in Missouri, and it was fantastic. But uh, when you're talking to your business partners and your customers, are you noticing a trend of people kind of shifting their behavior based on all that's happening in the world? Oh, there's no doubt. There's a lot of people canceling flights. No, no one's going away on vacations. They're staying close to home, either at home, they're vacationing in their, at their own house, or they're going uh, up north on day trips in Michigan. Uh, today on I-75 coming north, we saw Ontario, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and a whole bunch of Michigan plates heading up here for, for long weekends, cabins or camping or, or whatever. So. Um, yeah, we got a lot of, uh, a lot of good place to go close Great. by. Great. Well, yeah, that, that, that's for sure. People are definitely changing their behaviors and, and getting away for shorter trips. Kevin, any comments so far, uh, people, where are they joining us from and how they're staying cool? Uh, no, actually no comments at all at the moment. Okay. Well, that's all right. Let us, let us know how you're staying cool this summer. Kevin's staying in the air conditioning. Um, <laughs> I've been uh, I've been swimming in my neighbor's pool as much as they let me, which when they, you know, when they leave, I just go jump in their pool is essentially what I do. But um, hopefully don't tell them. OK, Kevin, I won't say a word. OK, um, we're going to get back to Brett. So, Kevin, if you could step aside for a little bit, we're going to um, we're going to focus in on Brett here and, and look at this beautiful setup he has. So, Brett, what do you have? Uh, what do you have planned for us today with some of those products on that table there? Well, the first thing I was going to start out with, Andy, is one of the big things, fun things about doing your camping is sitting around the fire with friends and family, and you got to have some music, right? So Bose has a, a ton of great speakers, um, portable Bluetooth speakers you can listen to. This one here is the Soundlink Color 2. This comes in uh, red and blue, blue right here, white, black, and then a, a bright yellow Citron color. Great speaker. It's uh, it's water no, it's water resistance. You can have around the pool. We listen to ours at home all the time too. Take it camping. As you can see, it, it's real easy to carry with you. It fits real well in your hand. And then the cool thing about these now is we can now decorate these speakers. So I'll zoom in here if you can see that. Up in the top where it says United, that is a one color uh, screen print on there. Or down here, uh, this is a laser engraving process. So both of those look outstanding on, on the speaker. And it's a great way to brand something, a name brand speaker with your logo on it and wonderful gift for your employees or, or customers. Great. And what kind of music are you going to be listening to tonight at the campground? Oh, probably Justin Bieber, you know, that kind of stuff. No, it'll be, all class, all, it'll be classic rock, Andy, for sure. <laughs> okay, good. I, yeah, Justin Bieber is not on the top of my list. I, I think you and I probably have similar tastes, but Justin He's not Bieber on any playlist on of mine, that's for sure. Okay, good. Um, what else have you got for us there? Well, after, after the other thing you look forward to doing when you're camping is uh, playing some games, right? Games with friends and family. So 
One thing we have here is bocce ball. So if you aren't familiar with bocce ball, there comes with eight balls like this, black and red, and you got this little white ball here. So you throw the white ball out somewhere and then you try to get closer to it with these balls and you take turns trying to knock each other, knock each other out of the way. So it gets competitive, it gets fun. Someone thinks they're close, someone else knocks them out of the way, they get mad. So it's a, it's a fun game to play. Um, works best on, on some grass or some sand. Um, and this bocce ball set you can decorate. It comes in this nice carry bag here. And you can put a logo on the top of that bag mm -hmm. right there. And you can also put individual logos on the balls right here, which I've had some customers do. Kind of a cool way to, to get your advertising out there on the individual bocce balls. Comes eight balls to a set, so get some nice coverage on there. Another okay, fun well, game we have yeah. over here, which is called is washer toss. Mm -hmm. So got these little metal washers here. And this is kind of similar to cornhole. You, got, you separate these apart and you're trying to throw these washers into these boxes. So if you get it in, inside the tube here, it's five points. Inside the box is three. And close to the box, you get a point. And this is a fun way to play. This is something, if you don't want to take a big cornhole board somewhere, this is a nice, it's a much more compact uh, thing to carry with you. And then you see there, if you zoom in on that, you can decorate that on the box right there where the Los Angeles mm -hmm. Lakers logo is. It's a really nice way to, to decorate that product as well. I'm sure there's a lot of L.A. Lakers fans up in Michigan, right? <laughs> Not a whole lot. Okay. Well, we'll put the Pistons logo on it for the next time, right? Yeah, I'm not a lot of Pistons fans right now either, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what about this? Uh, what about this grill and maybe this skillet you got here? That looks pretty good. Well, when, you, when you're done going to the beach all day and going tubing and playing your games, you're going to get hungry. And everyone loves camping and eating. So cooking over fire, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. So this right here is a lot of skillet. A lodge is made in the USA since 1896 down in Tennessee. Um, it's a great piece. This is cast iron skillet. This is, you get a bear come into your campsite, you can take them out with this thing. <laughs> so these are great. You can cook with this on, on open fire, on your grill, on your stovetop at home. These things are going to last forever. They get passed down to generation to generation. And it's just a wonderful product, a wonderful brand. And, and that's what this end of skillet looks like. So the option to decorate these comes on the silicone handle here. So you can put your logo on the handle, put that right on there. And you got, you got a nice logo on the product. So really good lodge is a great product there. And then we got this grill pro grill here by Broke King. Uh, this is an awesome little grill. I pulled this out of the car, just pop the legs open like that and you're ready to grill. So they come in gas electric. It's got a really nice cooking surface on there. Look how beautiful that is. That's nice. So it's just a really nice grill. We got things sound of concept logo there. They can be decorated as well. Um, that's just a wonderful thing. I mean, tailgating, camping, um, I've used one at home before when you're due to poor planning on my part, the, the big grill runs out of propane. This guy finished the job for you. So um, broken has a great range of, you know, these tabletop grills all the way up to big, you know, grills for your deck and everything like that too. Right. What's uh, what's going to be on the grill tonight for your first night camping tonight. We've got some burgers, some dogs and some corn in the cob. Oh, excellent. Okay. I'll be up there at about 4 PM to join you. Just, right. just make sure to make a plate a for me. For you, Andy. <laughs> Okay. Well, thanks, Brett. That's wonderful information. Let's bring Kevin back on to see if he has anything to add. Um, Kevin, are you still with us? I'm here. Okay. Um, anything to add there with what with what Brett uh, mentioned? No, I think the only thing missing is the beer. It's here. You can't see it. <laughs> I figured it was. <laughs> uh, it's a great job, Brett. We appreciate all that. It's, it's some some good stuff there and uh, useful products when you're camping out or even just going out in the backyard for a little time away from your office and home. Yep. Yep. For sure. Brett, um, anything you'd like to add? We're going to actually let you go uh, early so that you can get to camping, but is there any last thing you'd like to add to say to any of the viewers? Nope. Just hope everybody's staying safe. Can't wait to see everybody when that's safe again and, uh, have a great weekend. Okay. Well, thank you, Brett. Thanks to your camera operator, which I believe is your wife. So we need to give her a high five. Um, my, my the thumbs up there. Um, we're going to let you go so you can get to camping. And enjoy. Don't hope if that bear does come, make sure to use that lodge cast iron. <laughs> to it off. I'm ready. Okay, Brett. You guys take care. All right. Let's bring Dean right. and let's Thanks, bring Brett. Dean and Dean and Ann back Brett. on here. Okay. There's Dean and Ann. They, they didn't leave. Um, are you going to maybe join Brett up there for the camping trip, guys? Or oh. Can't quite hear you, Dean. Dean, Dean, you're, you're, you're either muted or 
Maybe your camera operator has her thumb over your microphone there. Let's try that again, Dean. I was just commenting, hopefully go. you can hear me now. There we go. That uh, I thought we had a technical difficulty, but did Brett say Justin Bieber? <laughs> yes, <laughs> he did. Yes, yes. Wow. We, we, we plan, Kevin and I are already planning to give him grief plenty, and it will be definitely earned grief for that statement. Um, but before we go much further, we're going to do our second viewer question since we were talking about camping. And I've, I, I don't know about you all. I love national parks. I love state parks, getting out and hiking and exploring. So our next question is going to be about uh, the national park system in the U.S. And last year in 2019, 12.5 million people visited this most visited park, national park in the U.S. in 2019. So what national park was the most visited national park in 2019 with 12.5 million people? I'm not going to ask you guys yet. We're going to see what our viewers say. Um, so type that in there. Bonus point if you can get two of the two of the national parks that are in the top five. OK, so you guys have to think about that. But um, OK, now we've moved to the basement. So this is Kevin's domain because there's air conditioning. Um, <laughs> and so. What have you got, Anne? What have you got planned for us? I think we're going to start with you, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. So anyway, we have um, some great uh, fun items um, that are great for home that we're going to show you today that are great for home entertainment. And we're going to start um, with Magic Chef, a household name that at-home chefs turn to for dependable, easy-to-use kitchen appliances that include beverage coolers, uh, microwave ovens, mini refrigerators, and pizza ovens. And um, my personal favorite is the ice maker. So um, there's no installation on this with this ice maker. Um, it produces 40 pounds of ice a day. And all you do basically is pour water in the reservoir, and there you have some ice making being made after 10 minutes. So um, yeah, and all you do you set it to as it comes with a scooper and select your ice size from small, medium to large. I mean it's it's so simple, it's right out of the box. But um, so a true story, a couple of weeks ago, my brother has a new lake house out in the middle of nowhere. And um, so going to the nearest store to get ice if you run out of ice is, is pretty inconvenient. So I brought, the, I brought this ice maker and it was on all weekend. We never ran out of ice. We always had cold beverages. And safe to say, he, I did not get to take this home because my brother made me keep it at his house. So. So say I bought a new one for myself. So, All right. um, and then, yeah. Um, and then we moved to Nordic Ware. Um, it's a Minneapolis based US made family owned. Nordic Ware produces high quality um, cooking and baking products that everybody will find versatile with much variety and useful for their kitchen. So nice. as you can see here, we have the reversible um, um, cupcake and uh, birthday cake and it's it acts as two and one so we have we showed you the it holds 12 cupcakes and then it holds a nine by 13 uh cake flat cake dean's already eyeballed the um cupcakes and he can have those but <laughs> i'm actually going to a birthday party tonight social distancing of course so he can't have any of the cake um that oh, comes good. With a nice nice stone lid for carrying ease of carry with um handles so um this prep the mixing bowls this is one of my personal favorites and I feel as a, as a staple for every kitchen. So it's three balls. They have an option with lids, but as you see, non-slip silicone bottom, microwave safe, um, freezer safe. And again, I just feel these are a staple in every household. And these are great because you can put these in the microwave. The, the ingredients get really warm, but the uh, bowl itself does not. So it's really, it's a great product. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> then great. they have the first cover. The throw popcorn popper. So this is easy to use. Um, it's a healthy alternative to bag popper, head bag popping, popping, and just put some kernels in the bottom, put the lid on top, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and you have microwave fresh popcorn. And the dome oh. lid actually acts as a second serve, a second serving dish. Excellent. So, well, it looks it looks great. It looks like I should come over and eat some snacks and have some cupcakes and maybe come to your birthday party, Anne, if you don't mind. And how about have a drink with my fresh ice? Oh yeah, that that too. That we'll start with that. Um, there's a bat. I I noticed there's a basketball back there, and we're in basketball. But can I talk about first country yes. in, in, in Indiana? What's what's the deal there? Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's uh, oh yeah? Before we get to the basketball, we did want to say. 
Corksicle is going to be a new brand of ours. It was introduced about a week ago. We happen to have one here with Jamie, our uh, videographer's uh, name on there. We'll be able to put corporate logos on this and details will follow, but we're really excited about this brand that uh, has wonderful uh, drinkware and uh, canteens. So we just thought right. we'd throw that out there to introduce that that way. In regard yeah. to the basketball, you can't live in Indiana without a basketball and a basket. This is an over the door um, acrylic shatterproof backboard with a breakaway rim. It's about the only basket I know that I can dunk. And uh, <laughs> it's, this would be great for a minimum of 25 pieces. You can see the Coca-Cola logo up here. We can do a custom logo with anything you want on there. This would make a great grocery store incentive, off shelf display, March Madness promotion, that kind of thing. So. Uh, this is an Escalade product. Escalade's down in Evansville, Indiana, just south of us, about three hours from where we are. We're in the uh, Carmel, Indiana, central Indiana area, and it does come with a basketball. So uh, I've had a lot of fun just shooting around on this thing. Can we see a Can we see a Larry Bird fade away there? I don't know that you'll it will go in, but maybe one of these. That's horse competition. There you go. All right. Good. Good. Okay. Um, you got some other stuff to show us? We have plenty. Yep. Come on over this way. Okay. We're going to get a nice tour of your basement here. Yeah, so we also have a 500 piece uh, card and chip set. This is a great item. Comes in a nice stainless case, um, two decks of cards, 500 chips. This is an item I think would make a great gift or an incentive program item because it's an item you'd love to have. Wouldn't necessarily go out to shop for, but you'd love to be given an item like this. So it's everything you need, including the dealer chips and the dice and everything you need to play card games and we've done a lot of that over the last few months right does Kev, does kevin hagan and his uh and, and his gambling come with that package or is that sold separately you know i've actually gambled with kevin it's sold separately and it's probably <laughs> really expensive too okay all right good good well it looks like you got some other stuff in the basement so let's I do. keep going come this way this is an arachnid dartboard we've had a lot of fun with this um this particular board has 31 games on it. It's electric. You can play your uh, alone. You can play with a competitor. It does have a heckler switch on it so that as you shoot, it'll heckle you. So everything you need to do to play darts right here. And it's super easy. Just hang it and plug it in and you're ready to go. So we got a lot of fun with that. Right. Well, you can you can heckle Ann when she misses or when she hits you between the eyeballs. <laughs> what about um... I'm getting near the board when she's throwing? Uh, we have a pool table are you here. are you the pool player in the family? Yeah. You know, I wish I could say I was better than I am. I am the pool player in the family. This is a CL Bailey uh, pool table. The uh, We have cues, we have billiard balls, we have accessories. This would be a great sweepstakes gift. Um, we can totally customize the, uh, the felt top with a corporate name or logo. Um, and we've just used this a ton over the last three or four months. So I'm glad we have this. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And I was always more into uh, table tennis. And I well, think you have, we have a, one of those. Let's, yeah, let's go so here. I, a little little known fact that I actually won my um, dorm uh, ping pong championship at when I was a freshman in college. So wow, that was, wow. That, that was my play you, Andy. that was my claim to fame. Um, my wife threw away the trophy though just a couple years ago. So oh, that's <laughs> yeah. not good. So I can't believe you guys did this to us. We have a Stiga table tennis table here. Okay. And we have paddles here with Iowa Hawkeyes. You're in the Boilermaker and Hoosier country, and I get Iowa. <laughs> and then of all things, this Kevin Hagan must have had something to do with this. We have a Chicago Bears paddle. <laughs> right. So for a minimum of 10 paddles, 10 paddles, we can totally customize these paddles with a corporate logo or whatever you want on them. But we got to kick up on receiving this. So since we have this wonderful Bears paddle, and since you guys also yeah. sent me some New England Patriots Boo. table tennis balls. <laughs> These come 24 balls to a pack for a minimum of 10 packs, 240 balls. We can do a custom table tennis ball with a logo along the same theme. Right. And before I forget, <laughs> at the most recent promotional product show, we had a Corona beer table tennis set up. So this whole table can be set with a logo on it, which would, again, be a great sweepstakes are a great promotional item so that's great well so, it, i warned it, you guys i was okay. gonna wear my colts hat in honor of the <laughs> new england <laughs> patriot ping pong balls and then i, I have to give hang a little bit i can't believe it's been 14 years but we came out on top in 2006 so since you sent me this bears paddle 
I had to put on the, uh, the Colts hat. Okay. Well, good. Well, good. I'm sure Kevin is, is impressed with the, the bears paddle there. And uh, the, new, the new England Patriots were known for taking down the Colts several times. So we won't many times. Yeah. yeah. You, you might have to ship that stuff back to us. Dean. And I will be glad oh. to ship this back out. No problem. Out I have no intentions of keeping this. Okay. No, no, no worries. Let's bring Kevin back on and see if he uh, is going to offer uh, some money for that uh, ping pong paddle. Where's Kevin? You've disabled my video. You're kidding me. That's <laughs> well, I didn't do it on purpose. Um, there we go. There we go. Sorry, I didn't do it on purpose. And I apologize. Dean, if, I, if I were you, I'd smash those New England Patriot balls with that cover thing with the uh, Bears logo panel. There we go. Okay, great. So we asked the question on our viewers about the most visited national park in 2019. Kevin, did we have some answers? Yeah, so there's a few answers. We had uh, David said Mount Rushmore. Uh, Kim and Mary Pat both said Yellowstone. Grand Canyon was an answer from Dan and uh, Elaine said Yosemite. Okay, well, I'm afraid, well, I'm afraid nobody got it right this time, Kevin. Oh, um, so, I would have gone with Dan. I would go with Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Okay. Well, that was number two. That was number two with 5.9 million viewers. But the most visited national park in 2019, believe it or not, was the Great Smoky Mountains. Okay. With 12.5 million visitors. And then Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado was third. Zion National Park in Utah was fourth. And Yosemite was number five. So somebody got the fifth place one. Uh, or a couple of people got fifth place, but anyways, that's that's a little um, indicative of how many people are out in the parks right now. So, um, Kevin, do you have anything else to offer? You want to maybe just reinforce that Corksicle uh, the, is a new brand that we just actually launched this week. Yeah, that great idea. And you know, we did launch Corksicle this week. We showed uh, showed you one of those pieces there today, but we do have our full lineup on our website as well as the price point uh, price sheets and everything available through all your reps. So if you've got any need for the corksicle items, please let your local reps know or throw it on our chat here and we'll get it back to you with responses and pricing on that. All right, fantastic, fantastic. And uh, Brett, we already, well, we already excused Brett, Dean and Ann, uh, thank you so very much. The time flies when we're having fun. You guys look like you were having a good time there. Um, thank you. Oh, yeah. Traffic. <laughs> any, any, any last things to add you guys before we say goodbye or? Yeah, I'd like to echo Brett's thoughts. I just, uh, well, thanks for the time, but more importantly, I miss seeing everybody. I know this COVID's been a, a big change for all of us, and I'll look forward to the days where I can see our customers and our suppliers and our very good friends, including both of you guys, someday soon. Yep. Oh, and look at this. Brett, Brett did come back, so <laughs> there he is. He must have been listening. Brett, any closing thoughts from you? You'll have to unmute yourself. No, I, my wife's making some kind of concoction, so I didn't want to have that on the on the video or anything. So it's, it's, a, it's a secret punch. I don't know. We're getting ready. No, everyone have a great weekend. Thanks for yeah. doing this, Andy. You do a great job. Oh, thank you so much. And for those of you that are watching, thank you for watching. Um, as always, we love doing these things. Next Thursday, we're going to wrap up our corporate gifting showcases, the regional ones anyway. We're going to go up to the northwest part of the country and, and join Jillian Heilman up there. And she's going to focus on at home and on the go brand name products that are ideal for work, play and family. So we'll visit with her. That's at 2.30 Eastern, 1.30 Central on Thursday. Make sure to go over to incentiveconcepts.com backslash live to RSVP for that. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, we'd really appreciate that. Uh, once again, Kevin, thanks again. You're doing a fantastic job. We keep inviting you back. Brett, I love thanks. the shades. Thank you so much. Enjoy your camping okay. trip. And uh, Dean and Ann, thank you. Go Colts. Uh, and, and go Indianapolis 500 too. That's coming up. Yeah, that's coming right. Three weeks. Up. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Viewers, thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. Thank Take care. Nice.